welcome to weekly quick tips designed to help you progress in your power platform endeavors my name is leonard mongi and in this week's tip we're going to be talking about clearing the power bi filters many a times when i've heard from uh, different users where they go ahead and do the development for their power bi and they deploy the report and their users are consuming it and then as they interact with the report uh, they come back and say you know what uh, we think the data is not loading um, so Let's kind of explore what that really means. So I'm going to come here and jump onto the report that I have here and I'm going to change a few things here. I'm going to change my date and I'm going to move it a little bit further. And then I'm going to change my uh, discount offered here. Let's make it about 40%. And it's a little bit slower. Apologize for that. Let's make it about yeah, we can leave it at 30 percent 40 percent and then i'm gonna come here and pick and choose some of the customers that i want to see their data uh, so i see all that is good and i can actually now get the the data that i wanted i wanted to see for these two customers here at around 40 percent and my data range there and as soon as this guy finishes responding i uh, will see how my data looks like Okay, I'm gonna okay so there we go so um, so I look at that data and I'm like okay I'm satisfied with what I'm seeing here so I'm gonna go ahead and clear these filters here and then I forget that I had other filters that I had actually selected so as soon as this data refreshes I look at the visualizations and they almost look at what we started with so I go ahead and move on with life then next time I come into this environment and I'm gonna pull one of the environments that I have here or this actually just me logged in but in this case here I am authenticated as an anonymous user so I'm gonna go ahead and refresh this and you'll see that actually Power BI uh, inherits the filters that I have whatever I had loaded previously no matter what session I am in uh, it's actually it's a sticky session so no matter what session I am in uh, if I go to a different machine if I load a different browser uh, those uh, filters that I had actually selected they will still be selected uh, so so this is, as soon as this guy loads, I uh, will see that we'll be at a discount of about 40% and our date range will still be where we wanted it to be, which is, um, yes. So if I come to this data here and I look at it, I'm like, uh, absolutely, this data is not correct. There is no way we, our revenue for that time period uh, was 1.3, uh, 4 million. Uh, we actually hit a higher number. So what the users actually don't get to see and it usually gets ignored is whenever you're interacting with Power BI, there's this little button here. And this button is actually supposed to reset all your, all your filters. So if I go ahead and click on that guy there, it actually will reset to whatever was the initial report uh, with all our data selected. So we can see our numbers there changed to 1.9 million. Um, so better than what we were seeing previously but most of the times the, this button here uh, it gets ignored by the users so there's two ways or actually let's say there's three ways that you can actually be able to solve this issue here so first of all it's the education uh, be able to let your users know that they can actually use that button that's there uh, and if they use that button there uh, it will reset to whatever they are expecting to look at the other thing that you can be able to do uh, the step uh, the other as I mentioned, there's three different ways that we can be able to handle this. Uh, so the other way that we can be able to handle this is to jump over to our Power BI desktop. And you, as the business intelligence developer, you can actually force Power BI not to save those um, those filters. So the way you do that, and I'm going to pause here for just a second. Um, so. I'm gonna go here and look at the options that I have. And for this specific report here, uh, and I'm gonna look at the current file. This is the file that I'm working, the PBIX file or the project that I'm actually working with. And I'm gonna go ahead and look at my report settings. And in my report settings, let's move this guy a little bit off the way. Uh, in my report settings here, I have do not allow end users to save filters on this file uh, in the Power BI service. So if I go ahead and check that there and I go ahead and click OK, and then I'm going to go ahead and um, publish this report here. All right, 
So we're gonna go ahead and pick our workspace and our workspace is that guy there. All right, and yes, we know there's a report that's out there that's already published. So, all right, so we got it. So I'm gonna go back to my report. So let's move this guy a little bit. Got it. Let's go ahead and minimize you. And let's go back to our Power BI. So this is our Power BI report here. I'm gonna go ahead and refresh it. All right, and now if I interact with this report, and remember this is on my private, uh, this is on the anonymous side. So let's go ahead and change a few things. Apologize, it's a little bit slower. So I'm gonna interact with it a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and change our duration here. And then we're gonna change this back to our diff, uh, our percentage of uh, V. So 0 0.4. If I can do 0 0.4. Uh, and just for the sake of conversation, I'm actually not even doing the percentage there. And let's go ahead and pick a few customers here and let this data refresh for us. All right, let's go ahead and refresh. You realize that this button is not lighting up. So no matter what changes I've made, uh, this button here is actually disabled and you can see the other has disabled uh, report savings for this report. So this piece here will not be lighting up. So next time I come in here and I refresh my report, I will get the default report that uh, my users or uh, I'll get the default report that was actually published and it will refresh based on the data. So that's one of the uh, second way that we can be able to do that is first of all, we educate our users that there is actually a button to reset that. Uh, or the other way is to go ahead and disable that process there. And you can see as soon as I refresh this, it goes back to the default settings uh, of what was originally published. The other way that we can be able to do um, this process here is we're gonna go back and enable that uh, button. Uh, let's go here and we're gonna go to our options and in our options, we're gonna go back and enable that and then um, we're gonna do a little bit of work over here on the Power BI and what I'm gonna be doing is to actually add bookmarks on this report here. So let's go back and disable that so that we can allow our users to actually still be able to save those reports. And then I'm gonna create a little bit of real estate here. So I'm gonna reduce that guy. And then I'm gonna go ahead and push this one down a little bit. And then up here, I'm gonna go to insert and I'm gonna add a button. Uh, and this is going to be a blank, blank button because I want to control a few things here. So I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger, uh, create a little bit of space. Uh, maybe that's a little too much. Then come over here to my visualization and I am gonna go ahead and enable the button text here, which is a default. All right, so on our button here, so we're gonna go ahead and call this button uh, clear all filters. And then just for the sake of it, just to make it a little bit uh, aligned with whatever else we have here, I'm gonna go ahead and also do a fill and I'm gonna enable that guy. And yeah, so this one here is just for cosmetics. It's not something that uh, you have to follow the same thing that I'm doing here. Uh, it's just for cosmetics. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to make it about the same color as the other one that I have. It's a little bit darker and just move it a little bit up. Okay, so that's where I want my users, once they see this, they they, uh, they know that uh, what we're trying to achieve there is to clear all the filters. Then the next thing I'm gonna do here, uh, so I have my button already created and this button here, once they, they click on it, then they will go ahead, it's gonna clear all the filters that I have. 
I did not mean for it to go down. All right, so then I am gonna come to view and let's move this guy a little bit more here and we're gonna add a bookmark. So I have a few bookmarks here. I'm gonna go ahead and add a new one. And this is going to be my clear all. So I'm gonna go ahead and rename it. And that's my clear all filters. And what's gonna happen is whenever they push this button here, uh, whatever is selected is actually gonna end up being cleared. And that's driving me a little bit crazy uh, where that button is. Uh, so let me just allow me to move it just a little bit down. So position on why we're gonna move this to 85, uh, maybe 90. Yes, perfect. All right, so I have this and I'm gonna go ahead and click away uh, so that we don't have anything selected. So whatever you have on your um, on your bookmark, if I have that button uh, highlighted, then it's gonna show up that way. So that's how I want my report to look like. So I'm gonna come and update this button here. So go ahead and update that, not button, but the bookmark, uh, but we're not done yet. So let's go back to the button and we're gonna tell the button what we want it to do uh, when it's pushed. So let's go ahead and enable the action here. And let's go ahead and change this one here to, it's a bookmark. And then we're gonna choose which bookmark we want it to, to interact with. And it's going to be clear all filters bookmark. So life is good so far. And then we're gonna go ahead and publish this report. So I'm gonna go back to home and I will publish this report here. All right, so this report here is ready for me to go ahead and publish it. So I'm gonna replace the existing one that we have out there. All right, and life is good. So let's go ahead and minimize this guy. And then we're gonna go ahead and refresh our Power BI report here. And you will realize now that we have the button uh, available to us. Okay, so we have clear all filters here. And let's go ahead and play around with this uh, report now. So as soon as the data shows up, uh, my apologies, the reports are a little bit slow. So I'm gonna go ahead and interact with my data. And you can see now this button here, uh, because we enabled it back, it's available for us to be able to use. And I'm gonna go ahead and pick a few customers here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and change my discount rate here to be 0 0.7. And now I can see that's how my report looks like if we go ahead and do the discount of 0 0.7 for this specific customer for that duration. This is the kind of revenue that we end up with. But if now I go ahead and use this button, and I click on clear all filters, what you realize is that it's actually going to reset everything that I have on my report to the default. So, so there's those three different ways that you can be able to do. Uh, one of them is either go ahead and educate your users so that they can be aware that they have this button here, which is doing the same thing that we just did with the filter button. Uh, with a clear or filter button. The only difference is that now this one here is a little bit more visible to, to the user so that they can be able to interact with it. Or you can still go back and uh, not allow the users to actually be able to save the report uh, filters. Uh, so they'll be able to interact with it, but next time they get to that report, it will reset back to the original one. So those are that's our weekly, quick, quickly, weekly tip. I hope you enjoyed it. And if there's any other piece that you would want us to cover, please let us know and go ahead and subscribe and like this video. Thank you so much and 
Have a good day.